What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lauren if you're new here and welcome back to another Taylor Swift Tuesday. Hope you guys are excited for this video. I'm excited for this video. But first I would like to thank White With Style for sponsoring this video. White With Style was kind enough to send me one of their teeth whitening kits and I absolutely love it you guys. I am someone who has sensitive teeth and I've struggled with teeth whitening in the past but the White With Style kit was so easy to use. You simply take the top off of the gel plunger, you put it into each indent in your tray and then you pop it in your mouth. But what makes White With Style different from other teeth whitening kits is that it comes with their LED light. You put that into your mouth, hold it there for 30 minutes for sparkling white teeth. I know I said this last time, but I really do feel like my teeth look a lot whiter than they ever have. So yay, thank you White With Style. And if you guys use the code Lauren Lippman at their website whitewithstyle.com, you will get a 90% off discount on your very own teeth whitening kit. I personally like the strawberry flavor, but let me know which one you got and let me know how you like it. Okay, let's get into Taylor Swift Tuesday. I've got a lot to talk to you about, there's like a possible news leak announcement that we'll get to in a little bit. But first I want to do some Taylor Swift Reputation Tour recap that happened over the past week. This past weekend, the Taylor Swift Reputation Tour hit Toronto. But more specifically, on August 4th, Taylor Swift performed to a sold out crowd of 50,000 people at the Rogers Center. But she brought with her a very special guest. The crowd went wild when they saw Taylor Swift rocking some new outfits and a really cool red guitar. And then she started singing the beginning notes to the Canadian classic Summer of 69. Up from the bottom of the stage rose none other than Brian Adams. Adams is a Canadian singer-songwriter best known for his songs like Run To You, Heaven, and the classic Summer of 69. It was so cool to see everyone in the stadium get so excited when they saw him and even just when they didn't know that he was there and she just was like singing the lyrics. I love that she's been going to different countries and like pulling out their like most iconic stars and just like come up on stage let's sing your biggest hit. To me it's like the right amount of surprise guests right it's not like too unnecessary not that 1989 had any unnecessary guests but I like that she's in her Dispersing the celebrity guests like every here and there, so I really like that. And it's really meaningful to the specific location she's playing in, so that's just so cool. And lucky, lucky Toronto, they got to hear a song that Taylor Swift has never ever performed live before. At the August 5th show, she played Come Back, Be Here, which if you don't remember is a Red Album Deluxe Edition song, and I didn't even like realize that she's never sung it before. So that was like a really cool surprise. My favorite was hearing everyone reaction in the audience. Check out this video. So, you guys are so absolutely amazing. And I was wondering if it would be okay if I played a song I've never played live before. forgot how much I like love that song and need that song in my life. I've been like replaying the Red Album this past week and it's been like a lovely little week. If you don't remember, we're pretty sure that Come Back Be Here is about Jake Gyllenhaal and how their relationship began to fall apart. Ugh. You guys are so lucky. I like wonder if there are any other songs out there that Taylor Swift has never performed live. Oh God, I don't actually know that. I mean, I'm sure that there are some Swifties out there keeping track and keeping count. So if there are songs that Taylor Swift has never performed live, please comment down below and let me know. I'd love to know that. God, we should keep a tally somewhere. <laughs> Giant Google Doc, okay, <laughs> back on track. Now, let's talk about this possible leaked 
YouTube announcement that we're unsure if it's real or fake. Over the weekend, a YouTube channel by the name of Taylor Nation with about 3,000 subscribers released this video. Okay, you're not stupid. We all know what that video is trying to tell us. They're basically insinuating that Getaway Car could be the next single of the Reputation era, which is totally possible. In my mind, I really think that it's going to be because if you went to the concert, you saw the intense visuals that were on screen right before Getaway Car started. My head was like, this looks like an already made music video, right? There were also some interesting things found out by fans who have recently met Taylor Swift in the meet and greets. I don't know how you remember to ask these like Swifty sleuthy questions because I totally blacked out when I met her. But a few of you have asked her things like, when's your next music video coming out? What's the next single gonna be? And you've actually gotten her to answer and I'm just like, Applause to you, you deserve that. According to some fan sources at the meet and greets, the next single and music video is already filmed and ready to go, and we won't be expecting it, which is just awesome and so exciting. There have also been multiple reports of people in different countries noticing that Getaway Car is making its way through the radio airwaves again, like it's showing up more frequently than it was before. And there's also this other rumor that I find really interesting and I have no idea if it's true, so let me know what you think. There's a rumor going around that because Getaway Car is a tame pack in the Swift Life app that that means it's going to be a single because apparently every single Taymoji pack from the Swift Life is a single? Is that right? You tell me guys. Comment down below let me know if the Taymoji packs and Taylor Swift singles correlate because I just have no idea and I didn't look it up so <laughs> There's that. Now, there's this one part of me that feels like, yes, this is real. This was obtained illegally and somehow leaked because, like, it just seems very Taylor Swift-like. The font is good. It's a very subtle hint and that's something that Taylor Swift would absolutely do. But there's also a bigger part of me telling me that this is fake and this is actually just a ploy to get views on YouTube and attention. But to be totally honest with you, I really don't know if it's true or fake. What do you think? I mean, you'd think that if you would fake something, you'd fake something a little different than that. It seems very, very specific with like the car sound. I don't know. Well, tell me your thoughts, guys. You know I love hearing what you think. Well, hopefully we will all find out soon enough. I cannot wait. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed this week's version of Taylor Swift Tuesday. This week's video shout out goes to Samantha underscore Swifty. When I asked you guys what your favorite emoji was, this is what she had to say. My favorite emoji is this one, the winky face. It's so fun to randomly send to my friends because it confuses them so much. <laughs> and that made me laugh a lot. I really enjoyed that. It's always fun to confuse your friends with random emojis, right? Try sending them an eggplant. That'll confuse them. If you want to be next week's video shout out, go to my Instagram and comment on my most recent post, your favorite thing to do in the summertime. I will be choosing a commenter at random and you could be next week's video shout out. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to leave it a like, share it with your friends, comment down below, let me know all of your thoughts. Make sure you're following me on social media and that you're subscribed to my channel. Make sure you've got those post notifications turned on, by the way, so you know exactly when I upload. All my love goes out to my hashtag notification squad, my early squad commenters. I love when you guys comment as soon as the video comes out. Keep doing you, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.